how to write a class a method and uh, <coughs> anything if you have any doubts we'll discuss so with the triggers we'll be completing the apex coding part and uh, data loader we have to discuss uh, tomorrow we'll discuss about the data loader so today we are going to discuss about the triggers okay there are two types of triggers we can say before triggers after triggers the triggers which are executing it's it's not executing actually we will uh, categorize like this that trigger code whatever is executing before then we'll call those kind of triggers are before triggers and after triggers means if any code uh, any dml operations uh, occurring uh, then after dml operation occurs a, a triggers will fire then those uh, triggers are called as after triggers so first of all let me tell you what is a trigger so trigger is a a automated piece of code will execute any dml operations occurs on the object so let me say account <coughs> account is a object okay in low data store just go to record store data is nothing but a records okay so data store just set up to background low with a object under num it's a object it's nothing but a table okay table and they couldn't have the database loan to the matter so, we have to do account like data insert chasna, other kota create chasna, lezente, modify chasna, delete chasna, lez undelete chasna. So, background lo yem jerutai ente, DML operations jerutai. Okay, DML operations. So, as we have discussed already, there are few DML operations. Okay, insert, delete update upset these are the dml statements okay so prati sari dml statements fire and up to one trigger or rask coach and matter so triggers will be executed if any dml operations are occurred on the object so a dml operations and it will be a line of so it can be a through standard page standard page Or it can be a, it can be a Apex class, a VF page, data loader. Okay, Yala. any of the ways it can execute. DML statements can be invoked any of these ways. So, record create, record, record, which is many ways so create a chance on the uh, and a let's see if I go to account so it's okay UI is the classic couch lighting couch the standard UI so if I click new and if I fill the data and save on save of this record a DML statement will fire so we are creating the data through standard page okay or we can create it through apex class our visual force page our data loader data loader in the data the data and the insert in uh, I mean we can create the records so put them fire with the background one day insert operation fire at the day illa work record in such work record in the create just insert operation then delete just and delete operation modify is update to let the modify the data loader the are upset an operation on to them but the data loader the record the game data in such as and there can be a uh, it can be upset or insert can fire or uh, directly uh, i mean if you select upset operation it will look for the data if it is matching with any the parameters then it will uh, do say update statement if it is not matching it will do a insert operation okay so so man means it's a trigger ask if any dml operation occurs in the object we can write a trigger in order to perform our custom logic 
so what is the custom logic we can do and then, so it is a apex code so let us say before insert you wanted to fire you wanted to check before insert you wanted to check duplicate then throws an error ok or before insert you wanted to set values ok or after insert what can you do with the triggers ok these are the things you can do <coughs> if you use after insert you can create after insert you can create child records you can send a mails ok you can update uh, child records ok you can do some manipulations or calculations can uh, update any other any other object these are the possible things you can do in the trigger or you can share the records okay so these are the ways i mean these are the things you can do with the bad uh, with the apex or uh, with a uh, trigger so whenever you write a trigger uh, it can be insert you wanted to do some operations before insert then write a before insert trigger okay if you wanted to do any operation after any record is updated being uh, let's say if, if you are updating an account you wanted to update a contacts then write a trigger and there are events actually so you have to use the events in order to do fire uh, a trigger so by, by default got trigger me <coughs> undadu let me go to apex triggers ikkada kelthe chupisadi emana triggers unte so as of now there is no triggers so మనం ఆపరేషన్స్ చేసేటప్పుడు ఏమైనా డిఎంఎల్ ఆపరేషన్స్ జరిగితే ఆబ్జెక్ట్ మీద ఏమైనా ట్రిగ్గర్స్ ఉంటే ఫైర్ అవుతుంది ఏం ట్రిగ్గర్స్ లేవనుకో ఎటువంటి ట్రిగ్గర్స్ ఫైర్ అవ్వవు అనమాట ఓకే సో వై డూ వీ రైట్ ట్రిగ్గర్స్ అంటే టు ఆటోమేట్ ద ఏ లాజిక్ ఎనీ కస్టమ్ లాజిక్ సో వెన్ ఎవర్ ఎనీ డిఎంఎల్ ఆపరేషన్ ద కర్డ్స్ దెన్ ఆటోమేటికలీ దిస్ పీస్ ఆఫ్ కోడ్ విల్ ఫైర్ ఆర్ ఇన్ వర్క్స్ వీ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ టు uh execute manually we don't have to execute through apex uh, through a uh, visual force page or any apex class okay these are the uh, a piece of code or uh, it can invoke a another class it can invoke a, a, any method okay uh so for that purpose we are going to write a triggers okay so there are <coughs> first of all i'll write a syntax So syntax is not available, the trigger is not available to the object and the object is not available to the object and the object is not available to the trigger trigger name on object and here events here you can write a code this is a simple trigger syntax let's say you wanted to write an and the account object trigger uh, account trigger on account so oka trigger rasunam ante then kachithanga events avasaram anamata event anedi em specify chestad ante eppudu ee trigger fire avali whether it is a before insert after insert before update after update or before delete after delete సో నువ్వు ఏమైతే కోడ్ రాయాలనుకుంటున్నావో అది ఎప్పుడు ఫైర్ అవ్వాలి అని నువ్వు ముందే డిటర్మైన్ చేసుకోవాలి సో లెట్స్ ఏ రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఈస్ యూ వాంటెడ్ టు చెక్ ఏ డూప్లికేట్స్ బిఫోర్ ఇన్సర్ట్ ఓకే ఒక అకౌంట్ ఇన్సర్ట్ అయ్యే ముందరే సపోజ్ అకౌంట్ నేమ్ ఉంది ఫోన్ ఉంది ఫ్యాక్స్ ఉంది సో అకౌంట్ నేమ్ కానీ మ్యా లేదంటే అకౌంట్ నంబర్ కానీ ఫోన్ నంబర్ కానీ మ్యాచ్ అయితే ఆల్రెడీ సిస్టమ్లో డేటా బేస్లో వీ హ్యావ్ టు త్రో అండ్ ఎర్ర మెసేజ్ so this record is the, with the same details or with the account name or phone or fax or account number 
so that with the same number there is already account exist in the database so please create another one and the PC man carrier message throw jelly so we have to find out the duplicate so that executes automatically so from an echo trial in a echo to this kill class law as the land visual force by the last day the execute our do man make a trial a pro trigger law rally lay that class law as here a class make a trigger look all jelly okay so we are we have to determine when our code needs to perform okay you have to identify uh, what event you have to write so there are events before insert before update before delete <coughs> after insert after update okay and after a delete and after undelete okay so these are the events are available you have to identify which event you have to perform so our requirement is we have to identify the duplicates before insert i mean before creating the record itself so when i save it shouldn't allow me to save when i click on save if i give the same name see name can be at same but let's say account number <coughs> account number suppose if i give giving like this and a phone number if both are matching same okay these two are matching then we have to throw an error before save only it shouldn't allow me to save when i click on save it should give me error saying that with this phone number or with this account number already account exist so idi cheyalante manu ela raayali general ga so we have to query for the record with the whatever the input is coming uh, we have to query for the record select id name from account from account where phone equals to this phone or account equals to this one so if any records are coming that means accounts uh, with the same details there are accounts exist in the database that time we have to specify an error here okay so let me say if i save so how error is coming like this we have to throw an error through trigger okay so why why do we write trigger now so before insert to the database triggers will executes first there is a order of execution i'll tell you later so before insert the record we are writing a trigger so the event is now before insert we have to keep here before insert i wanted to check for the duplicates okay so here before insert is a event suppose you wanted to execute a piece of code uh, let's say you are writing a code here for checking the duplicates let's say till here to here you are writing a code for checking the duplicates and throwing that error in the same trigger for the same trigger and the same object you wanted to write one more event after insert see why do we use after insert you wanted to do some custom action automatically after inserting the record if i save the record this if i save the account i wanted to create a contact automatically so you got a contact object untadi so contact object lo data anedi automatically raavali so same name tho same phone number tho oka contact kuda create avvali oka account anedi oka object contact anedi inkoka object this is one table that is another table so if i perform any insert an account it has to do automatically a another record in a contact object okay so for that purpose i have to write a after insert the event is after insert after insertion of the account i wanted to create a contact okay so like this if you wanted to do these two actions you have to write a trigger an account object you should not write in any other object so you have to identify the source also 
okay you have to identify the event you have to identify the source object so man ekkada man ko work jarugutundi man ekkada action jarugutundo adi jarigina tarvata inkokka jaragalsi vaste appudu man first dan meeda ekkadaithe action jarugutundo so first let's say suppose ee work ayipin tarvata inkokka work jaragalante ee first dan meeda so first object meeda man man place lo ikkada enti account is a action creating the account or saving the account is a action after completing this i wanted to do one more action so apra em cheyali ekkada jarugutundi ikkada action which is account object meeda so you have to write a trigger an account object which will creates the contact suppose in reverse suppose nenu oka contact ni emana modify chesthe contact is a child and i wanted to update the parent so parent is account let's say account is a parent then you have to write a trigger on a child object so contact me then wo trigger rayali so contact lo something em email lo phone or something you know modify chestunu once you modified then you have to update anything suppose phone number you wanted to update or you wanted to uh, calculate something then or uh, let's say contact uh, whenever you modify any contact the last modified date you have to update in account object account lo oka field undu anukundam last mod last contact modified date ani oka field undu anukundam appudu edaina oka contact aa object ku sambandhi account ku account anedi oka record daniki sambandhinchina child semaina modify chesthe it can be any contact then parent update avvali appudu manam ekkada raayali trigger ante contact object meda trigger raayali so these are the different events okay and this is the syntax and you have to write on the object yeah it it should be an object it can be a custom it can be a standard if you wanted to write a uh, trigger on employee you can write employee underscore underscore c okay so and uh, there are okay let me uh, first uh, write a trigger and you can note down if any issues are coming or if there is any doubts okay so manam triggers raayali ante so any code you can write uh, using a developer console or you can use a vs code or you, you can use eclipse okay so even eclipse tarvata vs code uh, ilant vanni third party tools anamata okay otherwise you can write normally how we are writing a visual force pages classes in the editors only right these are the standard editor so if i go to the any visual force page this is a standard editor you can write code here only so illa kaakunda nenu developer console lo kuda code raskochu anamata nenu developer console lo kelthe here file file look at there you can create a new apex class a trigger visual ports page component lightning component all these things you can static resource you can create okay so you can create create all these things using a developer console you can open existing records also uh, if you wanted to open any page if you wanted to open a page visual ports page just go to the open resource or you can open directly I open so go to the pages if you wanted to open any page gen- just click on that it c- it will open like this okay so like that if you wanted to create a new class or new trigger you can create a trigger here otherwise you can go to the object and you can create go to the object manager go to the account if you want to write a trigger an account go to the object whichever object you want to write go to that object and click on the trigger you can create a new trigger okay so here you can write a trigger okay are you able to see ओके आटोमेट न्यू क्ली फारमे आटोमेट वो ओके ट्रिगर ट्रिगर नेम 
to the name let's see account trigger on the object so because we are writing on an account object automatically account is coming so if I am writing on a contact contact will appears here if I writing on a employee employee will come here okay no yeah object local at rasana object local in a trigger click chest knock out automatically could cost study so let you go to classic let's go to classic apex triggers last day okay we don't have option here earlier we were having app option here we can create a new triggers from here itself we don't have to go to object also we can create here okay so now let's say uh, we are going to the object so automatically object name will come comes here we have to provide the trigger name trigger trigger name on object and here he events you have to mention the events here so events can be here before event before insert or after insert or before update after update so apex is a case insensitive language so case insensitive it's not a case sensitive that means uh, let me say if I write a before and if I write in a small case both will consider the same Ila before small letters or asana before big letters or asana rundu okka tega consider chasa than mata but uh, dot net to java javascript to even the case sensitive one mata no before and caps is say adu unko ka variable anu kunta di small each na vante adi unko ka laga panjasa di class and a big guy is the book variable like a consider just a small guy consider just a normal class like a consider change and what up so big big letters key small letters key difference into the but sales force are like other matter small it's not big it's not mother look at it's not mother look small it's not like a done a capsule small you you like it's not work out of the matter it will consider as a only one okay so if you see here before insert i i kept as a bigger one here i i made as a smaller so both will be the same it will consider as insert okay so before insert and be, uh, after insert before update after update so if I write like this my trigger will fires before insert after insert before update and after update so what are the events I mentioned in all the events it will fire so for all the four scenarios so let me write something here so whenever you write a trigger okay we have to loop for the entire up entire records so first let me write a trigger uh, our scenario is uh, let me first uh, do a after insert scenario so when I save the account whenever I click on new <coughs> okay when I save the account with the same name and with the same phone number and uh, if any email is there email yeah with a personal email I wanted to create a contact uh, let me go to the contacts okay so here go all contacts so already contacts are available okay so if I create uh, with let me say um, suppose John do if I create an account name like this I'm creating an account like this and I'm giving a phone number with the same phone with the same e personal email ID if I give a personal email ID okay 
with the personal email id and with the phone and with the name okay uh, if i save all these values should appear as a record here in the contact okay in the contacts i wanted to see the same record okay generally what should we do if i wanted to same if i wanted to do same thing through visual force page if the source is a visual force page if this is a visual force page then i can write in the visual force page controller side so there is if there is a controller or extension i will go to the extension once a account is inserted i can create a contact as well in the class through class but now this is not a this is not a visual force page this is a standard page a standard visual uh, or a standard page it's a standard page lightning page okay so there's a no way we can write a class and execute whenever uh, this record is fired i mean it's it's not possible directly without writing a trigger so we have to call the class from the trigger or we have to write the logic inside the trigger itself okay so for that purpose we are writing a trigger here so the purpose is whenever account is inserted i want it to automatically insert a account sorry uh, whenever account is inserted i want it to insert a contact automatically insert is nothing but a save okay so let me write for that <coughs> So you wanted to create any contact or any object record dynamically uh, through uh, code. What should we do? We have to instantiate. Okay, we have to instantiate a object. Let's say I wanted to insert a contact. So we have to instantiate a contact. Okay. So I have to give like this. So this is a syntax. Let me write like this. So this is a syntax. Not only a contact. Suppose I wanted to create an employee on creation of the account. So as soon as account is generated, I wanted to generate a uh, employee as well. So then I have to uh, create a employee instance, employee object instance. Okay. So these are the syntax actually. So if you wanted to create a contact, you have to instantiate. If you wanted to create an employee, you have to instantiate. If you wanted to create a case, case you have to instantiate. Okay okay now let me save this so it is saved now let us try if I create a account with the same name contact is creating or not okay first check with the same name John Doe with the same name is there any contact so you can check for the all contacts So you can see here or you can search here so John Bond is there but not John Doe okay so let's create with this there is a storage limit exception So 
the records you deleted will be there in the recycle bin so I'm just uh, emptying the recycle bin as well let me delete this record okay now go to contacts now save this record we have actually deleted the records but still it is coming Let me try to delete all rows. So this will get all the uh, deleted records as well. So generally if I write a, a, a query on the transaction, uh, let's say there are 10 records and if I deleted 5 records it will fetch total 15 records so all rows will be used to fetch the deleted records as well so let me query for this so now 3000 records are coming so let's see if we get more records 3000 records only <coughs> so let me delete all these records as well so because of we, we are running into the issue can delete all these records I, let me check how many records are coming transaction list let me execute this so if you wanted to open a debug log automatically after completing this transaction you have to check a checkbox here open log then execute so automatically after completing this transaction it will open up the log we don't have to go to the log and open so just execute this Delete. The duplicate field line number three. Yeah. Delete. Yeah, yeah. Delete. So let us see how many records are deleting. So this is not actually an error because you see so I'm deleting the I'm deleting a transaction so it should not fire any account record so earlier you remember whenever we are uh, creating a transactions through developer console so it was giving a validation rule which is related to the account but we are uh, we are uh, we don't have any uh, validation rules on the uh, transaction object still it is giving error the same error we are getting let us deactivate 
the trigger so this is a is not a proper error uh, then maybe uh, some problem because it's a developer cons developer edition we don't have to worry about this error because it's not related to the our object it's not related to the uh, this transaction so now you see it's deleted and automatically uh, log will come so you can check only for debug uh, I could have hmm. okay it's 3000 records only coming okay so now now try to do this I don't know why it is coming like this even though I don't have any empty organization recycle bin let us try to create a new record now try to create a John Doe and phone will be something and email will be something so we are mapping this personal email ID to the contact and the phone number to the contact phone and the name to the last name in a in a trigger whenever a trigger fires it will loop for all the records whatever you are creating and it will create say a contact suppose you are creating one record the trigger dot will trigger dot new will have one record if you are creating a two records trigger dot new will have two records if you are creating a day from the data loader 10 records then trigger dot new will have 10 records 10 account records a newly creating account records after you insert or before insert this code will fire and it will insert the record suppose 10 records are coming 10 accounts are coming 10 contacts will create okay now let's see duplicates detected use one of the records trigger account line number 8 let's see in the contact object if there is any validation rule or if there is any uh, matching it will throw an error but in rates let's see uh, a contact object if there is any validation rules and it triggers there is no triggers let us see validation rules <coughs> there's no validation rules let me refresh this and create a new one
let's go to the personal email Duplicates detected. Now, let me put this code only if it is after insert figure dot is after and trigger dot is insert let's save now it is saving let's check here refresh this list and you can see dojon the same phone number and the same email id you can see here okay so what was the error we are getting the error is you can see in the trigger the events are firing all the time whenever you will insert before insert it is firing and after insert is also firing so this code what it will do is before insert it will fire after insert it will fire before update it will fire after update it will fire now in this scenario we are trying to create a insert i mean we are trying to save the record or we are inserting the record so what it is trying to do is before insert it will fire and it will create a record it is trying to create the record as well as after insert it is trying to record the create the same record <coughs> so at the same time before insert it first before insert will fire and it is keeping in a stack or in a temporary memory it is trying to create a new record and after insert insert again the same record with the same email and the so same phone number with the same last name it is trying to create one more record it is not yet created it's not yet created but it is trying to create because these two events are firing before insert and after insert the same code will fire again okay so it was giving duplicate error so it is trying to create a another contact with the same name and the same phone number so it is trying to uh, create but it is giving the error okay so we have to use a context variables you have to use a context variables whenever you wanted to execute a particular piece of code now this piece of code you wanted to fire only after insert you don't want it to create or you don't want it to create any record before insert so once a account is inserted this is account if i'm trying to create a new account <coughs> so let's say so this is account record so once this account is saved or inserted after this it has to ex it has to fire our trigger or this piece of code you wanted to execute this piece of code uh, after insertion of the account so you have to use a context variables so you can see this these are the context variables it will identify trigger dot is after and trigger dot is inset nothing but it will check for whether it is a insert and it is a after so if it is a insert and if it is a after after it total combines it will come the meaning of this is after insert if it is a after insert then only come to this code so if condition if it is not satisfied this for loop entire for loop will not execute okay so we have to use a context variables to identify the context of the trigger so what it is firing whether it is inserting whether it is after insert or before insert whether it is a before update and after update or whether it is deleting so now 
if I mention all the events this code fire all the time so I don't want to either you delete <coughs> the <coughs> excuse me uh, delete events so if you wanted to execute this code just put after insert okay you wanted to delete sorry you wanted to execute this code then put only uh, appropriate events or you have all the events if you have all the events then control your code execution of your code you have to control which code you have to fire you have to control the piece of the code you wanted to execute so let me say uh, whenever I update let's say I am putting after insert and after update let's say after update so now my logic is what is my requirement my requirement is whenever I create account then only I have to create a contact but this code has two events now if I update any record let me edit this I'm editing but still it will try to create a new record so it may throws an error or it will create a new record with the same name dojo or with the Dwarak it will try to create one more record if it is not there so let me search for the all the records because I have just modified okay so since we have a uh, context variables here so it is skipping let me edit it again and save this and now come here search for the record So it is created now just to open this record you can see created date come here details just come down you can see created by today 529 529 okay just now it is created okay so now if you modify again so it will try to fire it will try to fire the code the same code again and it will throw error or it will create a new record so let's go back and see uh, recent records let me edit this save come here contacts you can see here how many Dwarak records are created being created you can see all these three records are created as soon as we update because this contact this account trigger is firing all the events whenever update it is firing whenever you create it is firing all th these two events will fire I mean whenever these two events are matching then account trigger will fire and try to create so now you can see here duplicate records okay so you don't want to do that so whenever any record is creating newly that means a first time insert so if it is insert then only fire this code okay in order to do that we can use a context variables or we can limit the events if you wanted to do this only right after insert but you wanted to fire the trigger for any other purpose let's say uh, after update you wanted to do something then you have to execute this 
after update also after update also you, you wanted to execute this trigger but you don't want to execute this this piece of code you have to execute only insert time not update time suppose you wanted to fire this same same trigger uh, after delete okay then what you have to do is generally as a best practice we should not write multiple triggers on one object so after event kosam after insert kosam oka trigger after update kosam oka trigger after delete kosam oka trigger rai kodu anamata let me say if i wanted to write before insert if i wanted to find out a duplicate so i will write a one trigger so let me go to account object write a trigger new trigger so here so let's say duplicate check trigger on account so duplicates you wanted to find before insert okay and for that i'm writing like this for account if you see trigger dot new i am going to write a query so generally i am not writing a best practice here because i wanted to uh, first show you this way and i wanted to write a best practice later so this way we should not write we should not write dml operations inside the for loop we should not write a query is inside the for loop i wanted to write a query here account acc select id name phone from account where name or phone equals to account dot phone if acc record dot size is greater than 0 then i wanted to throw an error message dot add error duplicate record with the find a phone number okay so use different phone so this was the error message you wanted to give okay when you wanted to do this why i'm writing a trigger for this why can't we write in a class or why can't write in a page page is a customized a uh, ui it will not throw error here so in our scenario it's a standard page whenever i update a record or whenever i create a new record okay a new record i am not using any customized page here i am using a standard page so i wanted to invoke a custom code which will check a phone number so which is entered with this phone number already any records are available in the system or not so if any available it will throw an error with this phone number already exist okay please use another phone number i wanted to throw this error so if you write in a separate class that class will not fire until un unless you call the class or you call the method if you write in a visual force page you will not use the visual force page here so whenever you click on save you cannot invoke a visual force page and show an error message but you can write a validation rule as we have already discussed validation rules okay validation rule what it will do it will stops based on the condition but it will not query and it will not fetch for the it will not search for the all the records suppose validation rule so present record check chas if suppose status active rating 
warm like pote error message to be said let's say client requirement is if status is active and rating should be warm if rating hot each and go is active a bit up to save yes at a prayer around and up to an invalidation rule rask content okay but you have to search with this phone number in the database and it you have to see the count if it is more than one or if it is more than uh, if it is more than zero I mean if it at least one found in the system with the same phone number you have to throw an error so for that validation rule will not fit validation will validation rule will not query and look for the records so we have to write a trigger for that I'm writing a trigger here and I'm querying for the record with the same phone number that I'm getting so I will explain you what is this trigger dot new and what is this ACC first I'm writing this and I will show you the error okay let me finish now this should be a list otherwise there may be a chance of throwing error so let me show you like this save this account at line number two account okay so this is a trigger which will fire its insert so instead of writing if I, I don't want it to write all the events I can write like this which is fine which is fine but you can see two triggers on the same object one is after insert and one is before insert I wanted to write I want to do some action after insert after uh, update also I wanted to do before delete after delete then how many triggers will be there so many triggers will be there so there may be a chance sometime uh, first may uh, this trigger duplicate trigger may check first and if you have a same uh, event before insert one more trigger and that may execute first so there may be a, a missing of the order so best practice is you have to write all the logic trigger logic in one trigger so just like this you have to write <coughs> one trigger all the events and control your logic inside the class inside the trigger by using a context variables let's save this and see whether it will throws an error first of all so I have two triggers now in the same object on the account object one is before insert trigger and the other one is after insert trigger now if I try to insert with the same phone number which is existing already let's say four five seven nine six if I try to create a new record okay phone number is same and let me save it will throw an error duplicate record has found with the phone number use a different phone okay so this error message is coming from the trigger so that we have wrote so this is the same error message <coughs> whatever is coming here this error message we are throwing through trigger is same duplicate so you can see duplicate record has found with the same phone number the same error message is appearing here before insert it is firing before insert okay so you can write like this but this is not a best practice then what should I do okay take out the same code I don't use this make as inactive save okay and write only one trigger okay write a only one trigger but event will be a before insert before insert and after insert now also we haven't completed so if I write like this what will happen the same code will fire twice so 
before insert also it will try to execute this code and after also it will try to execute this code but we don't want to do, do, do that before insert I wanted to fire this after insert I wanted to fire this okay like that hotline number one okay, here before insert and after insert now you see these two are different piece of code and this has to fire before insert I wanted to check the duplicate this has to fire after insert to create the contact record okay so now how can I differentiate the context I wanted to execute only when scenario comes then use a context variables there are context variables in the triggers so what do you mean by these context variables so it will identify the context and it will have a value automatically to be that new take it out old trigger dot new map you can write and note down this trigger dot old map okay trigger dot is insert it will checks whether it the event is insert event or update event what it is doing if you are saving it is a insert if you are modifying the existing record your first time you're saving if you are saving if you save this this is a new record if you click on save it will gives the the context will will come here as a before insert you are before click i mean before save this will fires as well as this also fires but after you save it will identify what is doing whether it is a before insert after insert okay if it is a update you are modifying existing record and it will identify in the in this context variable identify and checks trigger dot is update if it is a update you are updating then it will becomes a true if it is insert this becomes a true <laughs> whenever you are updating then this becomes a false so based on the context whatever you are doing these variables will becomes a true or false okay so if I wanted to check whether it is a before or after I can check like this before okay after so like this I can check a context variables now these are the true or false values only like if it is a insert it becomes a true if it is a update it becomes a false and it becomes a true okay and if it is a before this becomes a true if it is after this becomes a true at that time it will becomes a false okay now what is trigger dot new what is trigger dot world ante so as we are saying whenever a trigger is inserting a new record or whenever any record is creating then trigger will identify whether it is insert or update right just like that based on the scenario it will hold the values which are coming from the object suppose i am creating a new record so if it is a new uh, then the values what are the record you are creating let's say I'm creating this record so account name and phone fax all the field values will be coming as a one object and it will store as a in this variable trigger dot new will have new record values so that means if I am editing a record that record value will be there in the new if I'm inserting a, if I'm creating a new record that record also will be here if I wanted to delete a record then trigger that world will have old records okay if I wanted to get a map of the a uh, new field which is a new uh, record which is creating the ID and the object 
ID and the record, the subject record. Then we have to use a map. Before insert, it will have a new record which is inserting, and after insert, you can have a new map. So once it is inserted, then record will be created. Any any record, if you are creating a new record, will not have a ID. This is a new one which is not yet created in the database. So ID for this record will not be generated before insert. Once you save, then only the record will be generated. That time trigger that new map will be available. Simply after insert you can get this one. Trigger that new map. If you use a before insert this one you will get a null. So trigger that new when we will be using. Okay? If you are trying to insert a new record these values you wanted to access in the trigger. Are you following me? When I am trying to insert this new record I wanted to check with this phone number is there any record or not so how can I get this phone number in a trigger if phone number you can enter yes no no then the coding door and all the trigger door trigger law then the phone number and all access just call it and a use a trigger dot new this trigger dot new will have hold record whatever you are creating account name phone and fax and status everything so whatever is there if it is a null if it is a empty empty records will empty values will store if value is there phone number is there then phone will be stored okay so are you getting or not so let me create a new one so if I am trying to create a new record here and entering few values Okay, I'm entering here account name and phone and fax and I'm not entering email. Email I'm not entering. This becomes empty. Okay, this is one record now. This is a record and this is our trigger. I'm writing a trigger and I'm using a trigger at new. So if I am um, any record is creating newly this record will come to the trigger okay and it will stores in a trigger dot new is a variable it's a context variable which is holding the new records of the object whichever you are creating or whichever you are updating okay those records will be stored in the trigger dot new Okay, this record will have same values account name and phone, the same phone number. Okay, whatever I'm entering. Okay, and the fax, the same fax. Okay, and email. Email will be empty. So, in a trigger context, trigger that new is a variable which will store so whatever in the object you are creating. So if I'm creating in a front end, it will comes in a trigger. Okay. So for the new trigger or new value, whatever I'm creating. So after insert, I wanted to create a contact. Okay. So now trigger that new will have the one record. So for loop, what it will do? If it is having a one record here, one time it will loop. If it is having two records, two times it will loop. So now this trigger that new is a one record, whole record which will stores in ACC this is a looping variable which will loops how many times the trigger that new value is having suppose if I am inserting the records through data loader so data loader at a time you can insert more than one record so let's say I'm inserting okay Balaji here okay through data loader So two records I'm inserting at the same time. These two records will be there in the trigger are new. So in the trigger, so it will loops two times and uh, two record two contacts will create. Okay, this is the mechanism of the uh, for loop or this is the mechanism of the trigger. So trigger are new will have a uh, new records which are creating. Okay. So now if I use this two times it will fire 
it will throws an error or after insert it will throw an error if suppose successfully it is throwing an if suppose successfully uh, let me go to the contact mm, let me save this one six five so with the same we have already uh, a contact record but um, so now let me save this okay still what it is doing you can see multiple times it is firing so this code what it is doing is before insert and after it is both the times it is firing so it is not letting us to create a record so you have to identify a context you can put a context variable if you wanted to execute this only before insert right so just put trigger dot is after first of all is insert whether it is a insert and trigger dot is before so if it is a before insert then fire this code okay this code fire only if if it is a before and if it is a insert uh, that means it's a before insert if it is a before insert I can write like this uh, anyhow I can mention Fenton fourth anyway so here also you can put a where if condition if this code has to fire is after and if it is insert that means after insert okay so after insert this code you have to fire save this variable does not exist in server line number three m s c r t is insert okay so now now this respective code will fire only if it is a insert and before before insert this will fire after insert this will fire so if we have multiple events suppose let's say after insert after insert in together so let's say after update and uh, before update so trigger will fire but inside the code will not fire because before update line number one before update and after update if we okay so e trigger engine southern time on key and this in a race learner were fire out of it but inside the code will not fire if suppose after insert it fire at the before insert it fire at the update just an amount of local care other in the content these variables will stop it becomes a false it will not come inside and here also this falls it will becomes a false it will not come inside so event fire in a survey then local on a code name and control change and what so this is a best practice instead of writing one more trigger what I did is I have removed the code from it and I have inactivated the trigger when our trigger is inactive this will not fire I can delete this also I don't want I have only one trigger now in the object okay but it will do multiple actions based on the based on the event okay this is a best practice use a context variables to differentiate your uh, a piece of code so they will ask you in the interview question uh, I mean they will ask you in the interview so what are the uh, trigger best practices you have followed whenever you write a trigger so this should be a best practice you should not write multiple triggers on one object write only one up one trigger per object and use context variables to differentiate the context so e code not insert before in after insert fire it e code after uh, before insert fire it 
నాకు డిలీట్ జరిగినా ఏం జరిగినా నా కోడ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ అవ్వదు ఒకవేళ నాకు నిజంగానే డిలీట్ జరిగినప్పుడు నా కోడ్ ఏమైనా ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ కావాలంటే ఐ హ్యావ్ టు యూజ్ ఇన్ కంటెక్స్ట్ వేరియబుల్ హియర్ డౌన్ ఆర్ లైన్ నెంబర్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ ఇన్ న్యూ కోడ్ విచ్ ఈ విల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఓన్లీ ఆఫ్టర్ డిలీట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు పుట్ ఏ కంటెక్స్ట్ వేరియబుల్ సచ్ ఎ వే దాట్ ఇఫ్ ట్రిగర్ డాట్ ఈజ్ ఆఫ్టర్ అండ్ ట్రిగర్ డాట్ ఈజ్ డిలీట్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఏ ఆఫ్టర్ డిలీట్ దెన్ కమ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద లూప్ ఆర్ కమ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద బ్లాక్ అండ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఓకే దిస్ ఈస్ ద బెస్ట్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఓకే సో నౌ యూ సేవ్ ద రికార్డ్ సో విత్ ద సేమ్ ఇట్ అట్ ద డే టైమ్ బిఫోర్ ఇన్ సర్ట్ ఇట్ విల్ ఫైర్స్ అండ్ ఇట్ విల్ సేవ్ ద రికార్డ్ విత్ ద సేమ్ నెంబర్ ఎంఎల్ఈ యూ కెన్ చెక్ విత్ ఎంఎల్ఈ జస్ట్ రిఫ్రెష్ దిస్ you can see a mele record is created so now this is a piece of code is executing automatically through trigger we don't have to call any class i mean we can call if you want you write this the same code in a class the same code you don't write here I write in a class and or a method class means inside the method you have to write call that method here that means we are calling a class only through trigger so finally through trigger only you have to do the trigger will execute on any events occurred on i mean any dml operations occurred in the object then automatically triggers will fire okay so this is a kind of automation we can do using a trigger so automated piece of it will execute say a, a piece of code automatically any dml operations occurred in the object okay this is about the trigger any doubts hello dorak ah chepo 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 balaji ah adi events unnai kada before before after adi exact ga database ki ela adi work out avutundi adi konja confuse undi adi before insert or after insert ani అది డేటాబేస్ కి ఎలా కమిట్ అవుతుంది ప్లస్ ఎలా ఎర్ర త్రో చేస్తుంది ఓకే సో వి హావ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ ఆర్డర్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ ఓకే సో దేర్ ఇస్ ఆర్డర్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ సో వాట్ ఇస్ ఆర్డర్ ఆఫ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూషన్ అంటే లైక్ వి హావ్ మల్టిపుల్ థింగ్స్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ద ఆబ్జెక్ట్ Uh, whenever you create a record first what will executes whether it executes a trigger validation rule assignment rules or whether it is a workflows process builder or charter message what executes a first is a matter and matter and uh, we have so many things related to the object if you go to object uh, you can be you can have a page layout assignments and profiles so many things you can will be associated with the object okay so whenever you create a object there is a uh, not object whenever you create a record so the order of execution will comes a matter uh, so first order of execution what what are the steps means so we have to discuss about uh, before insert okay and validation rules after insert and workflow <coughs> actions so that means it's a field update or it can be anything workflows workflow okay so if it is a field update is there suppose any task is there and email is there so email will send task will send as well as field update will do so whenever field update is doing then it will executes before insert before update okay so before update so trigger will fire before update trigger and after update assignment rules process builder flows సో ఇలా ఉంటాయి అన్నమాట సో ఇక్కడ బిఫోర్ ఇన్సర్ట్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఇన్సర్ట్కి 
सो मध्य मन की वाले टूल फैर सो फस्ट आफ् आल वेन ऐ क्लिक आ सेव लेट मी सेव बिफोर इनसर्ट फैर एनी ट्रिगर्स अदे सो बिफोर इनसर्ट वाले टूल विल फैर सो इफ यू आर रईटिंग एनी वाले टूल अंद सेम आबजेक्ट अंद अकउंट आबजेक्ट वे क्लिक आर् वे क्रियेटिंग इन यू रिकॉर्ड सो इन फोन नंबर एम टी उम्मीद जस्ट सेव चुड़ बिफोर इनसर्ट फस्ट इट विल ट्रई टू लुक् फर् दनी ट्रिगर इज देर इट विल फैर एंड फस्ट ऐक्चुअली वाले रूल ओनली विल फैर फस्ट दोजर का सिस्टम वाले रूल मीन सपोज इकड़ेमना नंबर फील्ड नंबर फील्ड नंबर फील्ड नैन टेक्स्ट एंट्र टेक्स्ट एंट्र इक फोन नंबर अंत इट विल टेक् नंबर अंड दीस् एनी एनी वे नंबर अंड क्यार्टर्स इट विल टेक् अलागे सो इफ यू वु हाव क्रियेटेड एनी नंबर फील यू आर ट्रइंग टू एंटर ए टेक्स्ट दिस्टम वाले रूल विल चेक इस इन टैक्स and okay. it throws an error before uh, these are called a system validation rules okay. okay and before insert trigger will fire okay so before insert trigger will fire ayi man code ko vastadi ikkadiki vachi so before insert ko vastadi before insert ki sambandhinchina context variables emaina unte dan chusukoni dan lopala na code execute avutadi so execute ayi execute avutadi inka record save avvaledu it will be just committed hmm. it it is not yet saved so uh, action okay. emaithe undo adu jarugutadu suppose ikkada and appudu id id anedi generate avadu kada avadu avadu inka anka database ki inka adu save avaledu just oka transaction maatrame jarigindi okay so appudu validation rules kuda jarugutay anamata object meeda custom validation rules emaina unte so hmm. custom validation rules are nothing but if you would have write any validation rule which will stops If status is active and if it is uh, rating is something harm warm, suppose active one upadu heart lo undali anko. So ila ga kuni user ila select just kuna do. When I or click on save, it will check for the status and the rating. If status is active and rating is not hot, if it is not hot, if you are selected anything, whenever you save, it will fire say custom validation rules. You can see here custom validation rules. okay and of oh. after this if there is a no validation rule nothing then it will insert the record successfully then only record id will be generated so ipudu daka ipudu daka just uh, commit maatrame jarigintha save ayindi the record okay database ki inka inka commit avaledi asal database ki inka save avaledi anamata insert operation jaragaledu so ikkada record save avutadi it will save the record and it will generates the id okay and once id is generated okay. after insert triggers will fire this is a trigger okay and workflows will fire and okay so that is there right yeah so workflows will fire okay so workflows okay. fire ayi workflow le man actions unte avu jarugutadi uh, let's say field update सो इला ऐसा एम उड़ो लैट फील अपडेट उ फील्ड अपडेट उसे मल्लोस अपडेट जो आफ्टर इनसर्ट तरह अपडेट जो बट अट जगे मुंदर ट्रिगर फैर मल्ल ट्रिगर फैर तरह फील्ड अपडेट जो फील्ड अपडेट इट वर्को इज ट्राइंग टू अट इन फील बट बिफोर अपडेटिंग ट्रिगर विल फैर बिफोर ट्रिगर सो लेट मेन हिर् Suppose the actions are not done. Suppose field update can only done. Go. It is trying to update, but before that only trigger will fire. So before trigger will fire, and once it is done, then after update, a uh, trigger will fire. Finally, update will be done. I mean, once okay. it is updated, then after okay. any triggers are there, after trigger will fire. After update triggers will fire. Then finally assignment rules, and after that process builder will fire. So okay. let's say process builder also having update statement. Then again, okay. Trigger will fire. A trigger. Trigger will mm. fire. Okay. Finally, flows a manana inka object me the flows could fire at that moment. Okay. So this okay. is order of execution. But anyway, uh, after insert, 
will fires only record is inserted after insert will fires if record is inserted let me s if I save this record if I save then only this code will fire after insert will come and this code will fire so before insert it will fire so it's a direct okay these are the uh, order of execution so if you so these are related to the object so object lemon no record in such as soon te don't let me workflow soon te workflow fire at the don't let me trigger soon te triggers fire at the object me the one violation rules into validation rules fire at the okay uh, process build on the process builder fire out of Allah so many things will be related to the one object you can okay. see if you open any object you can see these are the buttons it will not fire whenever you click so triggers and validation rules will fire any assignment rules are there then assignment rules and sharing rules also will fire at the end sharing rules also will fire okay okay uh, in one more thing hmm. uh, junction object and the other junction object key to master detailed relationship on the okay. so uh, I could junction object low uh, okay record me and you put a junction object and edit child object together hmm. both the object master key I put a master low you okay record to delete just a if object one on the object two on the Iranitki master master on the Madhilo junction on the you put object one loan record delete chest there okay record delete chest there you could junction object load record to delete out in the because if both are the masters the, the other record if there is a uh, other master is there that becomes a primary uh, a master or primary parent for the, uh, okay. the, ch the child record if that is also deleting then child record will get deleted okay okay uh, and mm. okay so yesterday man move wrapper classes going to put so you try and anybody can sh show me if you without tried or you just try and ask many doubts like if you wanted to combine two objects data uh, into the one object okay or, or we wanted to show uh, two objects data which is not related 